Hi guys, it's Goddess Gam. So excited today I'm gonna do the review for Dior Backstage Concealer. I love the Dior Backstage Foundation. The bad thing that I could say to that one is it's kind of it oxidizes and that's it. And it's kind of a little bit oily. I love Dior and I just got this one. So I'm gonna try it on with both sponge and a flat top kabuki brush. This one is a complexion blender brush from Real Techniques. I kind of wanna see how it blends with the backstage foundation as well but I will mainly focus on the under eyes, pimple areas and blemishes on my face. Just use this concealer alone. So let's do the review. So let's unbox it. Looks so beautiful. I think I'm not that pale, but the salesperson recommended me to get the number one. Uh, the number one. But I tell them I always put on a lot of eyes makeup, so I want something lighter for my skin. So the only thing that is lighter is number zero. Just say the word the orient. I'm in love with it. I got a psych lip brush. I forgot the price. In Thailand it's almost thirty dollars. <laughs> Alright, I just zoom in. I hope I do not scare you guys. And I'll show you what my blemishes are. This is a pimple, this is a scars and dark under eyes. You become a big fat star. You ain't ever gonna forget your buddies always stuck by an ally. The brush uh, is so soft. How could you say the applicator? Yeah. That's one side. I say the applicator can pick up a lot of product considering I'm painting the other side of my face right now. So soft. It's like lip brush. It's like an expensive concealer brush. That's how I feel. I got this too high. Oh. Maybe I don't have any So on this side, I'm gonna use Kabuki brush. You become a big fat star. You ain't ever gonna forget your buddies always stuck by. I'll say it dries pretty fast, and I feel like it's not that easy to blend with a flat top Kabuki brush. You see. I don't like with the brush at all. I think it dries so fast. Mm. She's blending so well. You've always been one of us and you are gonna stay one of us. We're all in it together. So I'll say I don't like it with the 
brush side I think it's the product is harder to work with the brush and I have dry skin sometimes the kabuki flat top brush can make your skin drier it will make it doesn't eat your foundation concealer but at the same time it could look cakey and if you have dry skin it would it would be a little bit harder to blend and the foundation look won't be that skin like like so say it looks so amazing on the under eyes but on the pimple area I think it doesn't doesn't do the job perfectly like I want but of course um, this one may not be the answer for like have you guys heard of those pimple area concealer? If those specific one, it will look so amazing. But this one is definitely not. Let me try to put on the area. If it doesn't work this time, I just use a foundation. So this time it look, I think it looks better, but it's definitely too light for the pimple area, and that's my fault because I picked this color. I'll turn it down with the foundation, backstage foundation, and this one is number one N. I think this is the second lightest color and look so dark you've always been one of us and you are gonna stay one of us So I think it blends so perfectly with the foundation and I hope you guys can see the foundation can cover the blemish shade really well. Maybe it's my fault that I didn't pick up more colors and the color that I picked would look good on the under eyes but I think it looks the best with under eye but and not targeted area like pimples and stuff. I think I'm quite a little bit more. I 
And I remember this variation works well on the sponge as well. You are gonna stay one of us. We're all in it. Yeah, we're gonna stay one of us. Yeah, we're gonna stay one And I always bake. You've always been one of us and you are gonna stay one of us. We're all in it together. So I'll let it sit and I'll be back. I'll do the full mix one. Hi guys, I'm back. I think we finished putting the concealer on 3 p.m. Today I'm gonna do the wet test for you guys. I feel so good about my makeup today. So let's zoom in. So for my initial thought, I think most of the concealer in the world would not be perfect to cover those pimples and scars in my opinion but those like compact concealer and specific pimple concealer this one is way more pigmented and would cover that so well if you know what I mean so for this one you still could see like one dot that I couldn't cover for scar and you see this one this one I blame myself it's like the pimple just pop out it couldn't cover it anyway so for the under eyes it looks amazing but if you see closely you will see that you still could see bags and the sale person warned me that if it's too light it wouldn't cover your under eyes but I like light concealer. I'm not sure if it's this concealer or I picked the wrong shade for my under eyes. But initially, I love it. At first, you guys can see that I'm struggling around this area, but now it looks better than I expected. So, I'll be right back for the wet test and Hi guys, I'm back. Right now is 11 p.m. Sorry, I just want to finish the video. I exercised, I cried because of I watched Wonder Vision again. And I got stuck at the mall and it, it was raining so bad and I was... I think rain got in my face a little bit. I walked through the rain and I think a lot of has happened to my face so I would like to finish the video early and I think it's around almost 8 hours so let's zoom in for you guys one thing I think for my super dry skin it doesn't make my skin drier it looks so moisturized and beautiful it's like a eat good sleep good put on nice skincare the only thing that I could say about the dryness is the brush side you can see it's a little bit cakey 
is because of the brush and just have with your dry skin and it's so cakey around here and that's it and considering I've been through a lot today I haven't touched up or doing doing anything I think it still look amazing it looks the best on my under eyes looks so healthy glowy and on the scars and pimple areas I'll say it hold up still amazingly so if you ask me the the packaging is everything the applicator is really good and beautiful and it's so good on your skin I think they put a lot of effort for this like to me it's like a lip brush and it's 11 mils. I think that's a stable for a bigger bottle concealer. Maybe it's my bad if that I don't get enough colors for this one. Overall, I like it a lot. It's just a coverage for the scars areas. If it's that full coverage, I think this this will be the best concealer in the world. And I don't expect it to be that phenomenon. So, what do you guys think? I think I really like it. Just wish it could be slightly a little bit more full coverage. And it works great with their foundation, backstage foundation. Maybe I wish it would be a little bit more, a little bit fuller, fuller coverage to be to be the maximum coverage for the pimple areas not that full but maybe you can build it up for that purpose and maybe some more color for Asian girls like me I guess that's it guys thank you so much for watching